Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And the other day, I made a flight in GeoFS. And, friends, some people complained about the video quality. I did some work on finding a solution. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So this is the GeoFS website. So, my friends, down at the bottom of the website, you can see the WebGL performance issues. Uh, notice they've got ways for you to double check and see if you're using the correct renderer. I was not, so I went through and I set this up with Chrome, and I wasn't happy with the results. So I got to thinking about what if I had a separate browser for this process. I did a Google search, and I found the Opera GX Gaming Browser. Simply went to the website, and I downloaded it. You can see here it's for several OSs. I downloaded it for Windows. I clicked Install, and then once I had it installed, I had to change the display settings. So I'm going to type Settings. And when I visit the settings app, I can now click system and I can choose display. If I scroll down, I can choose graphic settings. And then you've got desktop apps. Well, I want to set the Opera GX browser to run with a special graphics processor instead of the built-in graphics processor. So to do that, I launched Task Manager. All you do is type task. And when you type task, it will show you all your apps that are running. As you can see, I launched the Opera GX. I'm going to expand the Opera GX, and on any of the browser pages, I'm going to right-click and say Open File Location. When I've got that file location, I'm going to click it just once, and then I'm going up here, and I'm going to copy the address. When I've got that, I can close all of that, and then we browse for our new app that we want to change. And in this box, we simply click and paste that new location. Now notice it has a quotes here, so I'm gonna delete that. And then I'm gonna go all the way back to where the quotes is in front of the C, and I'm gonna delete all that. Boom, there I've got my location. When I put a slash after it and press enter, it takes me to it. I can click on this file and I can add it. Once you've got it added, it will look like this. And I simply clicked Options and I switched from Windows Power Saving to I want high performance with the NVIDIA GTX 1060. Once that's saved, let's launch it and do a test flight and see what we think of those new settings. So my friends, real quickly, let's check my settings. If we go to Options, I have got graphics maxed. I do have the water. I don't have the contrails. I am enabling HD. I have signed in. It doesn't quite show that correct, but I can see my HD, so I do believe it's there. And if we hit debug info, this is the big one. We can see I've got the GTX 1060. I'm going to save and close, and let's hit P for play. Set my throttle to 9. Zoom in a little bit on my aircraft. And let's get down to ground level and see how it looks. Uh, right now, the first thing I'm going to say is that everything seems to be running smoother. Um, I could hear my uh, laptop making all kinds of noise while I was recording uh, with my video capture software and flying the other day. And at the moment, it is nice and peaceful, which probably makes for a better video for you guys. Although the other videos, I always add music anyhow. This is one of the rare times you get to hear me chat while we fly. I am not going to mention where I'm flying because I may fly here as one of my other GOFS flights. But let's see if we can get some views of some things that look pretty neat and check just how it is drawing with the NVIDIA instead of the built-in Intel. I'm going to switch views. Everything seems to be happening crisp. I'm not going to say that the ground looks sweet, but switching from view to view, that seems unbelievably awesome. And uh, to be able to do this while I'm actually recording is even cooler. So my friends, as you can see, the steps were pretty simple, and you can let me know in the comments what you thought of the results. I am pretty happy, and I'm excited to keep playing as I make these GOFS 
fun flights. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.